Ujio wa kiongozi wa kanisa katoliki ulimwenguni Papa Francis unatangamana kwa ukaribu na masuala muhimu yanohusu wa Kenya ikiwemo amani. Maandalizi yanaendelea kote nchini na hapa Mombasa askofu wa kanisa hilo diocese ya Mombasa Martin Kivuva mahimiza vijana kuwa kelelezo bora cha amani na kutangaza umoja. Moja wapo ya maandalizi hayo ni msafara utakaozunguka mji mzima Mombasa uliopewa jina pamoja for peace pwani. Oscar Cheng anatuarifu zaidi. Ziara hiyo ya Papa Francis humu nchini imetajwa kuwa ya kihistoria ikizingatiwa kuwa itakuwa mara ya kwanza kiongozi huyo kufika Kenya na bara la Afrika kwa jumla. Kulingana na askofu wa diocese ya Mombasa Martin Kivuva amesema kuwa ujumbe wa amani kutoka katika diocese hiyo utaondoka tarehe 25 wiki hii kuelekea Nairobi. It is not just KNG2. We are well organized with the security details that are only privy to the security people. Tunawahakikishia wanaosafiri mko sawa tu, mko sawa even including the place you are calling Taru has been checked we have organized possibilities to go faster than 13 hours idadi ya watakao safiri kuelekea Nairobi kutoka diocese ya Mombasa ni takriban watu 3000 huku wakitarajiwa kuanza safari hiyo kwa pamoja katika msafara wa amani msafara huo wa kilomita 500 hadi Nairobi utajumuisha vijana wanaotajwa kuwa walengwa wakubwa na kutumika katika kuvuruga amani na kuchangia katika ukosefu wa usalama Walio taveta wanatoka kikwao wanakutana na wenzao mbele walio kwale wengine wanapitia wakutana na wenzao mbele walio kilifi wanakutana na wenzao sehemu nyingine tunaanza mataimu mbalimbali lakini they are coordinated katika taarifa ya imamu wa mji wa Cremona nchini Italia iliyosomwa na naibu askofu Padre Will Badlago imamu huyo amesema kuwa dini ya Kiislamu haiunge mkono mauaji ya watu wasiokuwa na hatia yanayofanywa na magaidi No justification for those who killed the innocent victims in Paris. No justification for those who killed 147 students in Garissa. Islam is a religion of peace and all true believers should commit to demonstrate it. Hapo jana Papa Francis alituma ujumbe wa kile atakachokuwa akifanya nchini Kenya siku chache kabla ya ziara yake. I wish to encounter all the people of Kenya and Uganda and to offer every one hour of encouragement. We are living at a time when religious believers and persons of good will everywhere are called to foster mutual understanding and respect and to support each other as members of our one human family. Ni siku moja imesalia tangu kuzuru kwa kiongozi wa kanisa katoliki ulimwenguni Papa Francis humu nchini. Hata hivyo matarajio ya wengi ni kuona kuwa kiongozi huyo anazungumzia masuala tofauti tofauti yanayolikumba taifa hili. Katika diocese ya Mombasa wengi wanajihusisha na kuhimiza amani kabla ya kuzuru kwa kiongozi huyo wa kanisa katoliki. Oscar Ucheng, Pwani TV, habari za mwambao.